Hello Team XL, Brian Reynolds again here from Nashville uh, with another field tip video. The thing I'm going to be going over today is actually sharing your All photos. Right. So the first thing you're going to do at the very, very beginning of your week is you're going to open up your Dropbox. Now this is when uh, you've already sent your, your Dropbox for last week uh, or if you're just now starting, this will be your first time around. Um, you, you want to open up your Dropbox app before you leave for your stores on Monday morning when you're getting all your reports together, when you're getting your, uh, your planograms together, when you're downloading all your valuable information for the week. Because again, you don't want to waste that time in store. I do it at home right before I leave. Um, just it, it saves me time in the store. That way I can just focus on the things that I need to do. Uh, so I have in my Dropbox, I have uh, a file for every week. So first quarter week two, first quarter week three, so on and so forth. Eventually at the end of this quarter, uh, or not this quarter, but next quarter, at the end of the next quarter, I'll go back and delete all of my first quarter uh, just because I like to keep them for a little while. That way, if anything needs to be pulled up, uh, just proof of my work uh, or anything that I need to go back and review for some reason, it's there. Uh, when you're starting a new week or when you're first starting out with, with Excel and you're setting up your Dropbox, you want to push on this little blue plus sign right over here and that's going to give you a pop-up menu. You're going to create folder. Create folder right there. You're going to title your folder. Now usually, like I said, I'll type first quarter or second quarter, whatever quarter we're in and the week. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to say video. Okay, so I'm gonna create that link and that's gonna automatically put that in my Dropbox. So we're inside the folder now. You swipe, you go back to the list. It is now down here at the bottom of my list. So I'm in Dropbox, I'm gonna come out and then, uh, well, I've done my work for the day. I've, I've finished my displays. I've checked, you know, put every, set everything to POG. I've shot my labels, shipped out my outgoing product. I'm ready to take my pictures of the display. So you're gonna go and you're gonna hit camera, obviously, and you're gonna take your picture. And once you have taken your picture, say I'm just gonna take a picture of the warehouse. It's gonna be lovely. And you're gonna go back out. Once you've taken your picture, see that, that is now in your camera roll. You have a second app for editing your picture because you want to be able to uh, to notate what store you're in, what store you're, you're, you were visiting. Um, so pull that open, your aviary, and you'll see your list of photos. Uh, and I'm going to pick the one that I just took. So let's say this is of the display up front. Your options for editing are down here at the bottom. You're just gonna scroll until you see text. Text has the big capital T, should be easy. And you're gonna add new text. And I, I usually, uh, and I think we should all be doing this. You're gonna enter T for, well, Target, or if it's, I don't know, Giant Eagle or whoever, you just kind of notate it however it's notated in your paperwork. So T, and I'm in store 0000. zero, zero, zero. So I'm going to make that bigger so that it can be red. So I know Phil doesn't like to strain his eyes by it being super, super small. So I'm gonna make it easy for Phil to read. Phil is my regional manager. Uh, notice I've put it up here in the corner of the picture. If this were our display up front, if this were our card wall, you do not want your numbers to be right in the middle because your regional manager wants to be able to see the work that you've done. If, you're, if you're, uh, your numbers are way, way big, you must be hiding something. So. I usually like to make them a little smaller, put them in the corner, that way the display can still be seen. Now notice, up here in the top corner is a plus sign. If you're done adding text, if you need to add anything else, sometimes if there wasn't a printer available uh, for me to shoot labels, and I've got a ton of blank ones, and I use whatever generic labels I have, uh, a lot of times I'll put no printer available. So no printer, even though I spelled that wrong, plus sign. So after every time uh, you're doing something, you're gonna hit the plus sign. If you're done completely with the editing, hit done once. Notice it will pop up again. So it's saving. Now there is a done option, do not touch it yet. You're gonna go down to the bottom. This little three dot sideways triangle, I call it my little alien symbol. Hit that, and that is gonna give you your options on what to do 
with your photo. So you can convert it, send it to aviary, Gmail, whatever. You're going to add to Dropbox because again, you've already created the file that you're gonna be using for the week. So first quarter week one or whatever, we created the video uh, folder. So if you're in the previous week, you just swipe and you again, you have your list of your photos. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna put it in the video file. Hit add, and it's as easy as that. So, when you're at the end of the week and you have uh, done all your work and you're doing your numbers and, and you know keeping thing, everything up to date, all your photos should already be added to Dropbox. So on Friday, all you have to do is at the end of the week when you watch Piper's wonderful informative videos, you get to open up your Dropbox, you get to go to the file that you created. So here I have video, you have the triangle, you can hit the triangle there, or if you wanna open up just to review, make sure all your files are there. Uh, if you're in the folder, you wanna hit the three dot triangle. So three dot triangle, it creates this page. Now do not type in your, uh, your uh, regional manager's email address in this page. Uh, a lot of times it sounds like what I'm hearing from Phil, is that they have to go through leaps and bounds to try to view your folder when you send it through Dropbox. So instead of sending through Dropbox and giving them permissions to edit, permissions to share, permissions, permissions, they have all the permission because there are regional managers. So you don't need that. Instead, what you need down here is this create a link. You'll see over on the side, no link created yet. I'm going to click on create a link pop-up window it says copy link I'm gonna copy the link the link is ready to be pasted anyone with the link can view this folder so there are no permissions they don't have to sign in the Dropbox they don't have to use the app necessarily they can just click on the link it'll open it up and it's ready to be viewed so after you've created the link you just go back out you're gonna open up your email and you're going to create an email and you're gonna type in your regional manager's name, and you're also going to use Excel, marketing at excel.com. You're gonna, in the subject line, the way that uh, Phil has us do it, uh, if your regional manager has uh, you know, described otherwise, by, by any means do that. But for us, we just use Dropbox, and then slash, and then whatever Piper's uh, silly, crazy, sometimes fun word of the week is. So for this week, uh, let's say Piper is going to say, which I don't know how likely it is, she would actually say it, but John is awesome. Because he is. So John is awesome. You're going to go down to compose your email. You're going to hold your finger down. And well, it's not, not wanting to work for me. Oh, there we go. So if you hold your finger down, it'll give you the paste option. So again, you already copied the link, it's already in your clipboard, so you're going to paste it, and there it is. So that is all your regional manager will need. You don't have to type in a big long message unless, I don't know, you feel like you have to, but I'm just telling Phil, here you go. So uh, that is the link for the photos that I took for the week, I'm going to send. I'm actually not going to send this, and because uh, I don't know that Phil wants a picture of the warehouse. So that's it. If you have any problems, uh, feel free to email me, bReynolds at excelmarketing.com. Uh, if you have any videos you'd like to see in the future, if you have any tips that you'd like to hear, uh, if you're having any issues out in the field you don't know how to take care of, please email me. I'd love to shoot you a video. See you next time. Keep working hard out there and uh, stay great.